in our strategic plan, we envision to increase the number of skilled providers for surgery and safe anesthesia. But for us to be able to do that, we've partnered strongly with Surge Africa. The ministry really believes uh, a strong surgical service cuts across all the disciplines. Right? It helps us address issues of maternal uh, mortality, reducing them. It helps us uh, address issues of uh, fetal wastage, uh, pediatric uh, morbidities, and obviously it helps us deal with the growing scourge of road traffic accidents that we are seeing worldwide. The critical shortages um, are really human related. The amount uh, as well as the, the complexity of the cases being done in the district is not as much as those being done at central hospitals, partly because of, of the skill of the you know, anesthetic providers. I've visited two, two district hospitals. I was overwhelmed. I was sad because I think it, it was not safe. It's not a safe place and I, I did not think it, uh, it had facilities in terms of staff to be called the district hospital. It's like the theater is there and forgotten about. So you need very confident theater nurses to work in these theaters for them to really run. But I think I like what is happening now. We have a lot of providers on the ground that can be trained. And I think Surge Africa with its specialist teams going are able to provide the training is to kind of bridge the gap in terms of knowledge and skill uh, among these district providers uh, of anesthesia, anesthesia. And so with this project, uh, what you're trying to do now is to equip the, the anesthetic provider at district level to be able to do certain cases that were initially complex for them. The team comprised the of uh, surgeons as part of anesthetists, uh, part of uh, nursing, part of it. When we arrive at the hospital, we take a tour uh, just to look at the setup, how the management works, and then we give comments. Then after that, that's when we go into the specifics. Uh, maybe we pick on some topic to teach. Then after that, we, we attend to the patients in the clinic. Then those who need operation, we operate. So it's a continuum. The idea is that even if you see them today, uh, it doesn't happen that you leave them alone. But for the next uh, couple of years, they're still in contact with you and they're able to, to refer cases and also discuss cases and therefore making them safer and secure as they provide anesthesia. Already we can see the changes uh, being made. The staff in these hospitals, yeah, they really appreciate our visits and it has uh, made a difference. They made us to make sure we, we follow the standards before any procedure. Even the candidates or the clinicians that have gone through the program are reporting benefits from those engagements. And this for us is important feedback which encourages us to strengthen the relationship even further. As we move towards universal health coverage, we will never be able to achieve it unless we have a surgical service that everyone can access and, uh, and I think Surge Africa will help provide the evidence and provide the blueprint for government to follow.